Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are literally the whole experience of this life. And I always get DMs from you guys asking me questions. So for this video, we're going to talk about something that one of you beautiful solo trip family DM'd me and asked me on Instagram. Ugh. this whole topic just makes me laugh because I feel like so many of us battle this type of perception like being perceived as desperate so many of us probably battle with this and so many of us do come across as desperate so I feel like this conversation is very needed okay so how to tell someone that you like them without coming across as desperate I feel like there is such a stigma around us communicating our feelings to each other, especially for women, because obviously I can only really speak from the female perspective because I am a woman. And I know that we try very, very hard not to come across as desperate because there's obviously like a big societal stereotype or whatever you want to call it of women like if they let you know that they like you, then that seems desperate. But then if they play it too cool, then they're not interested. Like, oh, it's just such a complicated, weird mind game between men and women. So in my opinion, I really think that we should be able to just be upfront and honest. When we like someone, it is not desperate to let them know that you like them. Like, what is it with all of these weird mind games where we have to mess around with each other's feelings and like mental state and literally like play games with them because we're afraid of how we're gonna come across. And I just really think if you like someone, you should just tell them. And it doesn't matter what gender you are, what your sexual orientation is. If you like someone, just tell them because how are you going to know without telling them, you know? But then, at the same time, we also need to be okay with rejection, because not everyone is going to feel the exact same way, so I think it's just really key for us to get out of our ego triggered reaction feelings, and if you want to know how to do this, you should definitely watch the video that I uploaded on Monday, no, Tuesday, at the beginning of this week, so it's literally a couple of videos back, where I talked about um, dealing with haters and trolls and that kind of thing, I do touch on triggered reactions. So you should definitely watch that video if you want to know more about how to deal with that because it's something that um, literally like holds us back and restricts so much of our connections and our experiences here is we take everything personally and we take everything to heart and we act without thinking. So. I think you need to just be yourself, completely be yourself and let the person know that you like them and that is not desperation, that is called honesty and being straightforward and if we all were to do that, like things would just be so much simpler because then you would know where you stand with people without all of these confusing games and if the other person's response is confusing then they're just not the one for you. <laughs> like, we don't need to waste our time in uncertainty and in doubt and confusion and all of this back and forth shit. Like, they either like you too or they don't. And if they're not sure, if they don't know how to respond to you, then that's just a no. Just take it as a no, take it as this is not the one and move on because you'll find somebody that actually is. We don't need to waste our time with people that just aren't all in, that don't 100% choose you. And I think oftentimes we're afraid of rejection. Like we're afraid to tell people how we feel because we don't want to be rejected. But that rejection will lead you to where you're actually meant to be with the right person, you know? So surely you would want to be rejected by the wrong person. Like that's a good thing that they're rejecting you because it just tells you that they're not the right person. So yeah, I don't think it makes us look desperate. Desperation is when somebody rejects you and then you keep going back to them and you keep asking for their attention, you keep keep going when you know that they're not the right one. That's desperation. That's a lack of self-esteem or some kind of internal situation going on that needs addressing. But to just simply tell somebody that you like them, that's not desperation at all. 
that's just being honest and letting them know, you know? So, yeah, I think it's a difficult one because obviously it requires, again, as with everything that I talk about, it requires a lot of shadow work and a lot of healing for the whole collective and not everyone is going to do that. So there may be people that reject us in mean ways because that's just the state of being that they're at right now. That's just their perception, you know? So I hope you stop holding back in fear and actually just be yourself and let your emotions flow. Like just let the people know that you value them and that you like them and then just see where it leads. And if, they're re if they do reject you, then that's okay. And it's not the end of the world because it does mean that it's redirecting you to the right person and we have to be okay with rejection. So that is it for this video. I really hope this was helpful. And of course, I'm going to dive into way more topics. So stay tuned for those. I really, really appreciate you. And don't forget to check out the description box for all links to my music, my social media, my phone number, because I send daily inspirational, motivational type thoughts. So my phone number is there. You can text or WhatsApp me, as well as all of my music, my website and everything else. And also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week and I will see you in the next video. If you have any other things that you want me to talk about, if you have any problems, anything that you're going through, you can always leave a comment down below. You can DM me on Instagram or you can text me. So all of that information will be in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think you like me Yeah, I'm icy, coolin' in that white tea Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range all white Oh, yeah, I think you might I'm the thing you like, in my range